Well, as you can see, this is taking crumbs. This is this is taking the crumbs of bread. Bread, things you eat every day. He loves to eat. And today I'm going to present you with something brand new that comes all the way from Germany. It's a bread machine. It's a bread cooker. It can cook your bread overnight. And it's all brought back by right? automat. It's cheap and cheerful. It's quite big and it breaks overnight your bread. All sorts of bread. As you can see, I have a display of various flours you use. And there is a uh, tournesol bread, I don't know what that is in English, ciabatta, and uh, wheat mix. With high fruit is big in mesh, that means the flour, the yeast is already mixed. As you can see, there's yeast in that as well. The bread bag automat has one little problem. It's it's instruction manual. You can buy those machines from other makers like Panasonic and they have a, um, they have an international thing. But this one is, as you can see, Liebe Kunden and Liebe Kunde means dear client. But it's all written in German and there's no alternative. So I will show you briefly how it all works. There's a guarantee that comes with the machine and it's fairly easy to use. I don't know if you can see, these make the bread, these are the things that turn in the bread and blend it in the night before, you, before it cooks. Well, basically what this is, is uh, the menu and this is where you put the timer. Well, you know, I took the baguette, and this is a few hours later because um, we had a slight problem tonight, last night. It worked, it nethered, but look what happened. I mean, I'm afraid it's not exact science. So we've got the bread. That's what happened. They nethered around, so you can take them out, and it might be like a bottle of bread. We might have made a mistake with quantities and stuff. You see, they're stuck in there. I will show you what it looks like. It smelled beautiful, but we didn't wake up until late. But we could smell it in the morning. And as you can see, this thing stays in. The netting things are gone from here and stays in. And you can see that the dish actually looks quite clean. It all comes together, it's got special Teflon. So hopefully the second try will be the best, will be better. I mean it looks like bread inside, just very heavy bread. It's very solid but it's fresh. You see inside it's all solid flour but there's nothing there we can eat. Just didn't work but it's cooked hmm not a great success but on the edges sometimes it looks better you see here you, the consistency looks gradually better okay so this is a few hours later we got here an expert Marcel has a, Hi. has a, is a German speaking uh, Swiss man and uh, 
we managed to, to, to go through a little bit more about how to make this measure-wise. So what you do is you take this, uh, this thing out because you don't want flour to go and dirt your, and, uh, dirty your thing, yeah? dirty your, your oven. You put, so, about half, for example, this, this fits about two breads, yeah? So you, you take half of it, and then you just, the only thing you have to do is to pour it in. That's as simple as it can be. You just pour it in. Right. Oops. And then you have to add some water with it. A bit less, but it's, you can look in the, it's indicated on the, the packets. Like they said, you should really try to keep this clean, so, you know, like... Ah, right. This stuff, okay, so Mr. Expert. It, it screws up the... It screws the system up. Yeah, it gets... Good enough. Okay, this is the second... The second test of the bread. A few hours later, lovely smell in the house. As you can see, I've used uh, all my flour. Let's see the results right now. It's quite hard. And as you can see, it hasn't risen. It's, uh, it's much too compact. J'ai poutou le caméra, c'est tout, tout le euh, facé, euh, un petit grand. So what happened tonight, mister? J'ai pas envoyé les soleils. Mais, incroyable, le ciel est en toite des poubelles. Et bon, la porte, c'est dans la oven. Et il marche, il marche, il marche, marche, marche. We've tried to cook a few breads, and um, as you can see, um, we had some problems with the uh, yeast business. I mean, this looks like this is a, a shibata. It looks perfectly uh, cooked on the outside but it's dead flat so you can see that we we have got the cooking is fine but the yeasting is not so I'm afraid I'm, I'm uh, giving up for a bit now because the flour is, uh, is a bit too much and this is getting a bit of a mess but um, I will come back with uh, more when I when I when I make progress in my research to make a simple, easy to make bread, and uh, I'll make sure it works before I actually try to sell it to you.